right now more updates coming in on the delhi officer who allegedly raped a minor girl the delhi officer who works with the delhi women's uh, women and child commission uh, more sexual abuse cases has been surf that's been registered and that's now surfaced delhi women's panel swati maliwal seeks termination of the officer dcw chief swati says more suspension is not enough must take a must make database of the tainted officers and serial offenders like him should not find a place in the government this is of the it's it's obvious one need not say that uh, due diligence must be carried out on all officers who are appointed but unfortunately here uh, uh, they're looking at this delhi office within the uh, by the government officials themselves he's been appointed a women and child welfare department turns out to be a perpetrator has already had several cases of said against him and now that this has surfaced a terrible track record the dcw raises the issue saying that this man must be must be uh, fired there shouldn't be more suspensions instead he should be fully terminated from his job dcw chief says more just just only suspension at this point is not enough he must be fully terminated and that the officers database must be acquired before appointment serial offenders like him must not find a place within the government the delhi predator uh, the officer kaka in fact raped his own friend's daughter allegedly for nearly 2 year or a couple of months 2 years ago and impregnated her and uh, also ensured that her uh, her pregnancy was terminated uh, giving her pills forcefully even drugging her those are the allegations so this man who turns out to be a perpetrator ironically worked with the women and child welfare department of of the delhi government amit bhardwaj bringing us more on that amit tell us more on swati maliwal now of course uh, she is also part of the delhi government the dcw chief uh, she now raises questions on why there wasn't a database of this this guy and no due diligence was done to ensure he had a clean track record uh well absolutely right nabila you know uh, what we can see today is that the different uh, departments and different uh, factions of the government uh, kesuval government and even the dcw are uh, uh, are brainstorming if you if you could say the least uh, because swati maliwal has now shot a letter to delhi uh, chief secretary naresh kumar and had also referred to the media reports Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the fact that uh, dcw has come into knowledge of the fact that this uh, particular officer the officer in question who is facing allegations of raping a minor girl is uh, somebody who uh, you know looks like a habitual offender and dcw has raised the point that uh, there were uh, at least three complaints uh, of sexual harassment against pramoday khaka uh, with the delhi high court and as to how this person kept on getting promotions and was part of a very uh, sensitive department the women and child development department and now swati maliwal has also asked uh, the delhi government to make sure that the a database is created in such cases so that uh, you know all uh, officers who right. are facing allegations of sexual harassment against yeah. women and children uh, there is a database maintained and uh, this database could be used to track the cases as well nabila all right thank you very much amit for joining us on that now shocking revelations here that surfaced about the delhi government official primo de khaka who is accused of child rape four women have already complained uh, accused him of sexual harassment against uh, khaka between 2018 and 2022 so this man has a real do be a track record two of these complaints have become cases that are pending before the delhi high court both the complainants had approached the delhi government's department of women and child development but their complaints were rejected citing lack of proof now the alleged uh, sexual harassment took place uh, as kaka was working as a superintendent of delhi government's juvenile remand home that's the irony here he turns out to be a perpetrator but yet was working to protect women and children the complainants uh, have already urged the wcd the officials to sack kaka or transfer him to a place where he wouldn't have 
public contact, raising questions whether the child rape incident could have been really avoided if there was indeed due diligence done on this man. Meanwhile, BJP clearly slamming the Ahmadmi party, saying that it's promoting, uh, or rather it's so far protected and promoted Khaka, despite knowing that there are several complaints against him. BJP has also slammed the Delhi Commission for Women, Swati Maliwal, for ignoring the case and also demanding her resignation on this case. ऐसे अफसर के खिलाफ 2018 से 22 के बीच में चार शिकायतें आई थी चार गंभीर शिकायतें हरेसमेंट की शिकायत किस प्रकार से ये महिलाओं के प्रति अभद्र भाषा की इस्तेमाल का इस्तेमाल करता था किस प्रकार से वो उनका शोषण करने का प्रयास करता था कैसे वो उनके ऊपर एक प्रकार से नशीले पदार्थ का इस्तेमाल करते हुए उनसे शोषण भी करना चाहता था ये सारी कंप्लेंट डब्ल्यू मिनिस्ट्री के इंटरनल कमेटी तक पहुंची मतलब कि रेड फ्लैग आ चुका था फिर भी दिल्ली सरकार सोती रही और सोती ही नहीं रही उसको संरक्षण और प्रमोशन देती रही